Hello guys and welcome back to Phil Salvage Rebuilds. Now today's video is going to be very much different to the usual stuff. Um, there will be no work being done on cars in this video. I just want to give the channel and the subscribers you know, an update on exactly what's going on uh, behind the scenes, the plans, the plans for the future. Um, so there's going to be some exciting things in this video so do stick around and watch and, and uh, we'll get through it all in the end. So. Just start off with briefly um, the current subscriber count. We're at 5,451, uh, so we're massively happy with that. It has been a little bit slow the last, you know, four six weeks, and that's mostly my fault really. Um, the cars I've been buying, they're not drawing the crowd, if you know what I mean. Um, so and I'm a little bit infrequent with my uploads, which I want to address. I want to be to be honest. I want to get to the point where. I've got a video out every single day for you guys because you need that momentum with YouTube to continue to get them to keep promoting your videos um, for people that have channels. There's there's a section called Reach on your analytics and it tells you the amount of people that your videos have been offered to on that specific day. So obviously when you put a video up that day you'll get a spike of like, I don't know, just for instance say 50,000 people have been offered your video in a recommended video and then obviously the day after if you don't lead up upload should I say a spike drops and then the day after it drops and then say the day after that you upload then you get another spike but if you continue to keep uploading each day you don't get that drop after the spike you might level off and you might even spike a little bit more but it keeps that you know consistent amount of reach going and the more reach the more potential people that will see the videos the more potential that people will press the subscription button and watch the videos so you've got to try and put up as much as possible really but you've got to at the same time keep the cons the um, you know the content good which is what I'm trying to do uh, so so like I said the plan is in the future to try and get to the point where we can put a video up every day these videos take a lot of time um, so it's going to be a struggle but that's what I want to do and the type of cars that we're getting you know I do like these little you know, cheap little things. The Skoda Fabio I've, I've enjoyed doing. The Peugeot 208, I got a bit caught on the price factor with that because it's a 2018 car. There's not, there's no wow factor there, is there? Do you know what I mean? It's it's, it's very basic. If it was a, a GTI or something, it would have been a lot better, but it's just a box standard basic 208, so not a lot not, pe not a lot of people really want to uh, you know, spend time watching videos and stuff like that. Um, the Mercs did okay. But yeah, hopefully in the future we can get some, you know, more premium cars in maybe. I, I, I'm, I've been looking for an M3 for a while, you know. I'd really like to do an M3. Um, do you know, even S3, S4, S5, do you know, that kind of stuff. And um, perhaps perhaps we'll find something, even a C63 or something, you know. But then you're talking, talking big money. Uh, so that's the plans. I want to try to get some nicer stuff coming in. But like I said, I will try and also maintain a bit of... You know, lower lower end cars because it appeal, appeals to like the more the, the average Joe, if you know what I mean. And I want to try and maintain that as well. Um, so I've got a bit of a list here. I want to go through um, a few points. So I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of questions, um, just about random things. You know, if it's it's stuff about the cars on the channel, the channel in general, their own cars. You know absolutely everything you can think about I get asked about so I always you know answer these I always help as much as possible I'm just that kind of person I will always um, if I can I will help so I was thinking if it's any interest to you guys perhaps say once a month I could do uh, a little draw live questions and answers session uh, so it'd be like exactly like this but it'd be live and you guys can you know, ask you questions whether it's about the channel, about my cars, about your cars, do you know anything? If I can if I can help, I will do. I don't pretend to know absolutely everything by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I'm just like you lot, I'm just a normal person doing something that I enjoy doing and putting it on YouTube for everyone to see, which isn't always a good thing because I do get some um, backlash from that sometimes, but that's just part of the, the game that we're in. Uh, so I was thinking about doing that. If, if it's something you guys would be interested in, um, then, then we can do that once a month, perhaps do a live Q and A session. Um, so another point as well, quite a lot of you contact me asking me 
how you can you know contribute to the channel um you know it's not it's not cheap this channel in in terms of money wise obviously my other job i'm lucky i i get an income from that now without that other job i couldn't spend the time that i spend doing these videos for the money that i get out of the cars i just couldn't it doesn't pay as as a job for me right now so i use my wage from my other job to you know fund doing this and obviously youtube does give you a little bit with uh, the adsense which is is great and helps um but at the same time i would never expect a subscriber someone watching my videos to to pay me to do this stuff do you know what i mean i don't do it for that um like i said the adsense is, is a massive bonus i enjoy doing it and i would never expect a subscriber or someone who watches my videos to want to give me money or whatever you want to call it or an item or like adam for instance he sent me a a brand new torch which i massively appreciate that but i don't expect it i don't expect anything whatsoever i had another guy richard um offered to buy me a couple of uh panel stands for spraying again massively appreciate the offer richard uh but I, like i said in the email or the question i think it was on on youtube i'd literally just ordered two and they'd been delivered the day before so I do get quite a few people asking how they can, you know, help out, and like I said, I'm, I'd, it's a tricky one for me. I, I don't, I don't feel right, you know, um, expecting people to contribute to this. It's not, it's not for you to do. Just the fact that you guys watch my videos is more than enough for me, um, you know. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to set up, you know. I think it's called a Patreon account. I think Castle Paul's just literally done it. Um, and then the choice literally seriously is, is down to you guys if you want to contribute a little bit any of you you're more than welcome to but like i said at the same time I'm, i don't expect anything at all nothing not a single person to ever do it you know so the choice will be there tell me what you think about that i'm, I'm a being like i said i don't i don't want to be asking i don't want to ask for people for money i don't expect it it's a bit of a funny situation for me because i don't feel like i deserve it but I'm putting it out there. Tell me what you think about perhaps doing a Patreon account. Um, I don't really know what I could give you on top of what I do now if you were to say, um, do you know, contribute to the channel. I'm, I'm helpful with everyone. Do you know what I mean? I won't. I can't say to someone, if you pay me $3 a month through Patreon, I will answer questions and answer emails and help you out when I can. Because I do that for everyone. I'm just, I, just, I just would. Do you know what I mean? I'll help anyone out anyway so it's on the table it's down to you guys um let me know what you think i can put the link in it at the bottom of each video and if people want to they're welcome to it would obviously help us progress the channel quicker than than the which other way it's going now in terms of you know stuff that i need and whatnot but like i said that's that's down to me to do i don't you know that's not down to you guys to help with so um uh, it's out there anyway so We've touched on the future plans for the cars. Like I said, trying to get some a bit nice, some nicer things coming in, maybe that attract more attention on the channel. Um, the unit. I've got so many plans with the unit, you would not believe. I know I get a lot of grief about the little river down the side. Um, don't worry, I am going to deal with it. And I think the only way I'm going to get it sorted is to raise the floor level in the unit, which is going to obviously involve um, pouring some concrete. So. Obviously, with the coronavirus, um, the unit that's being built for the owner is obviously taking far longer than it than it was going to do. So we st we we'll, will we'll get there. Do you know what I mean? We'll get there once once we've got the whole use of it. I still want to get a little paint booth set up in the corner. I'm gonna get some more lighting up. Uh, I want some you know, work work units, work benches, some cabinets to store things, and uh, it'll be a lot better set out and I'll try and get a lot, a lot brighter in there maybe maybe paint all the walls white or something if um, if I'm allowed to so bear with me with the unit you know I will get there and it will it will it'll progress um, quite a few of you taught ask me about the the VXR Nürburgring quite often uh, now unfortunately that car I basically just got to the end of my tether with it to be honest with you it had been sat there since December and uh, just waiting, trying to find these lights to turn up. When they did, they went that quick. I wasn't quick enough to get them. Um, so, it, so the in, in the end, I pulled it into bits and, and sold parts of it. 
uh, and that's pretty much gone now. Um, I might do do a little bit of a segment in a video about it at some point, but as far as I'm concerned, that that car's not being put back on the road. It's been broke for parts, and that's the end of it, really, unfortunately. Um, so I'll be giving an update on the current cars. So we've got the black C250. That's pretty much been done for the last two weeks. Um, it's just little fiddly jobs like the washer jet cover I've been waiting for, and then that turned up, and the spring for it wasn't with it. Um, and then last week, one of the ballasts failed in one of the headlights that I bought, so I've had to buy order two two new ballasts for that. That all should be here this week, and I'm hoping at the end of this week or this weekend, it will be gone because it is a sold vehicle to um, Andrew. I think it is Andrew wants that car, uh, so once it's completely finished, I'm going to do some pictures for him and. And uh, I think he's probably going to have it, so, so that's probably gone. Um, we've got the Skoda Fabia Monte Carlo, which is again pretty much finished. It All it needs is the wheels being uh, refurbed, which I've got a place to do that. Um, it needs the corner of the bumper just having a bit of a repair. And for some reason, there's no signal on the stereo. Now, apparently, it's a common issue. Um, the aerial amplifiers fail, so I just need to deal with that as well. But on that subject, there is a guy coming to look at that tomorrow as well. And he's not bothered about the wheels. Uh, I think he knows a guy who can do it. I've obviously knocked off the price of these jobs. So it, may, it might literally could be going as it is without you know, the bumper repair and the wheel repair. But I'll know a bit more on that in the next day or two. Uh, so the Peugeot 208. It's all stripped. I've got everything in order for that car. Absolutely everything. I've had to buy the, the bonnet and the two wings... Uh, no, so we're going to have to paint them. Um, other than that, I've got everything for it, so there'll be some videos coming up soon on that. And, and that'll be finished in no time, so... Before we know it, probably next week, I'll be on the market for another car or two, maybe. Uh, which will be exciting. I, I love buying new cars, that's the most... It's part, ex, ex, you know, the best part of this, doing this, buying the cars, and... Like the finished article, seeing unfinished. So what else have we got? Um, so yeah, uh, I've, I've come around to do this video now because last week I decided to just take a week off from it all and you know not, not work on a car because it, it, it does catch up with you after a bit, you know, going up there every day, every other day and uh, on top of you know, all the other things I've got to do and the time it takes to do the videos, I just needed a little bit of a break so I was getting a bit thin on the ground with content and I thought it's probably a good time to do this video because it's going to be focused just on do you know what I mean? It's not here talking. It's quite quick for me to do, and um, it gets it. It gets another video on the channel. I know it's not going to be what most of you want. You want to see cars being worked on, which is is what this channel's about. But at the same time, I had a lot I wanted to talk about, and I don't really have the chance to do it during the videos during the cars. So I thought I'd just dedicate one video to it. We'll get it all out there. We can have a good debate about it all, and um, we can get back to the cars then. So. There will be quite a few videos coming soon, especially on the on the C250 because you all know the um, the story behind the 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 dash cam, and it's captured the crash, and the captured the the following few days in the body shop. I've mentioned it in the videos, so the body shop a bit body basically uh, just told me to. Go away. <laughs> so I've, I've decided I'm not. I'm not even wasting any more time on them. The video is going to go on the channel, and you're all going to see it, and you're all going to know who it is. So that is definitely coming. I'll do a video just showing the crash and stuff, and we'll talk about that in one. And then there'll be a part two, which will show the footage from this workshop, and you can make your own mind up. Basically, I have my opinion on the situation. You guys can have your your opinion on the situation. As I've said before, I don't have any rights to them parts personally, but that isn't the point. You know, the point is they don't have any rights to them parts either, and that's the whole point I'm trying to make. So, but you will see all that. I'm going to put it on because I haven't got anywhere with them, and they had their fair chance. And I didn't tell them anything about YouTube. I didn't try and play that card or anything. So, and I still haven't, and I won't be. So when they see it, it might be a nice surprise for them. They, they should have played ball. So that's going to be coming up very soon. Um, 
so we're getting near to the end now there's a couple of other things I want to talk about I'm always open to ideas from you guys uh, any, anything you know that you think I can do you know to, to improve the channel I get I get quite a few people sending me links to cars you know that they'd like to see and I and I always you know watch them and see if I can get it for a reasonable amount and I get a lot of people asking me to buy cars for them and fix them and and, and whatnot. Uh, so any ideas you you wanna you wanna put forward, what I could do better, what um, anything to improve. Do you know what I mean? End of the day, this channel is for you guys. If it wasn't for you guys watching it, then then there'll be no need for it. It wouldn't be here, would it? So without you you guys watching, then I, then I wouldn't be doing doing these videos. So. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it, it's your channel. It's not mine. It's your channel. I'm doing this for you people to watch. So, so throw some ideas my way. See, see if we can uh, we can push it forward, progress it, and get some more subscribers. And now the last thing. This has always been a plan of mine, ever since I started this channel. Because, like I've just said, without you guys, um, this channel doesn't exist. So I've always I always had the plan that. If I could get my channel to a point where I was getting money from it, which I am, uh, not a lot, trust me, not a lot, £150 a month maybe, something like that, um, if I could get it to that point, then I wanted to give something back to the subscribers. And obviously this, this channel is about salvage vehicles, repairing them and putting them back on the road. So, the obvious thing for me to put give you back is a car, isn't it? Simple as that. Now there's certain rules around YouTube, um, I've read up on them, and as far as I can see, there's nothing that stops me from giving a car away to my subscribers. So obviously there's going to be um, rule, rules, not really rules, but a set of um, a certain criteria is that we're going to have to meet for this to happen because obviously I can't just just give cars away willy nilly, you know, I can't afford to. Um, so, what my idea was, and obviously bear in mind the cars won't be the cars that we've got now, this isn't going to be a four, five, six thousand pound car that I'm giving you. I can't afford to do that, it's as simple as that. But what I can afford to do is get a very cheap car, you know, from Copart. Basically, get it roadworthy, put an MOT on it, and and give it away. We're talking about you know a five to six hundred pound car. You know, I'm not I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you and say I'm going to get something really nice. You know, it's going to start off at you know four, four five six hundred pound car, and I'm hoping the bigger the channel gets, the nicer the car will get. And the only you know, kind of criteria I can think of is when we hit certain milestones in terms of subscribers, um, that will trigger the next. Can I give away basically? That's that's what I'm thinking. So like I said, I've always wanted to try and give something back. Uh, like I said, I appreciate every single person who who um, subscribes and, and watches my videos. Do you know, I I still don't believe to this day, honestly, that five thousand four hundred and fifty one people want to watch me, like this person, me fixing cars. <laughs> I really don't. And I and you know, it's it's like mind blowing. Seriously. So. You'll never understand quite how much I appreciate, um, you know, the positive messages, the nice messages. Do you know, we do get the trolls, don't get me wrong. I'm sure you've seen a few of the messages that appear on the channel. We do get the trolls. And I give everyone a, fa a fair chance, you know, to voice their opinion. And I don't take it wrong or anything. But the odd few people that just keep chipping away, chipping away, usually about the exact same topic, eventually they get banned. And I think I've banned about 10 people. They're not banned from watching, they're banned from commenting. Because, you know, they've had the chance, they've given their opinion and they just keep going at it, they keep going at it, and they're just they're just trolling me, trying to get a reaction. And uh, so, yeah. Anyway, so my thoughts are, probably do a car giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. Now, I know that seems like a long way away at 5,400, but all you got to do with YouTube is get show a bit of a trending video like we did with the Golf R32 and, and the Golf R32 in the space of a week we gained I think 1500 subscribers you know what I mean so at 10,000 subscribers I plan to do a car giveaway now 
the criteria you guys need to meet to be within a chance of getting this car. And now, when, it, when it's yours, you do whatever you want with it, do you know what I mean? It's not to do with me. I'll make sure it's roadworthy. I'll give it to you. If you want to then sell it for £500 or whatever it is, that's your choice. You want to give it to your son or your daughter? Your choice, your car. But you'll, you'll have to be a subscriber on my channel. So if you're not a subscriber right now, press that subscription button. Um, you need to be active in the comments um, and you've got to make sure you give them a thumbs up because I can see, you know, and, and I'll, I'll whittle it down to the people who, you know, are, are active on the channel, they're subscribed, they're watching the videos, they're, you know, they're active and communicating and they're giving a the thumbs up. And then I will, I will download an online, you know, um, program which is totally random and it'll pick out a, a person out of this list and we'll do it live on camera so Joe, there's no way we can be accused of cheating or that I've given it to my mate and he's going to give it me back or anything like that. You'll have to excuse the sniffles, I've got a bit of um, hair fever today. Uh, so yes, so that's my plan, I want to I want to give something back, I want to give a car back and then after the 10,000, I don't know, maybe maybe the next one will be at 20,000 or maybe 30,000, do you know what I mean? Because I want to I want to take this, this channel to the next level, do you know what I mean? And I want to make sure people can see me for who I am and I'm this kind of person. Do you know, I appreciate this from you guys and I want to give you something back. It's as simple as that. Um, so that's about it, really. So, it, yeah, I've, I've covered everything I want to cover. I've, um, I've talked about it all. Honestly, like I said, give me your opinion on absolutely everything. The Patreon system, you know, if, if that's of interest. The live Q&As, you know, the car giveaway, I'm sure that's going to go down a storm with you guys. Everyone likes free stuff at the end of the day, don't they? I get quite a few businesses now, actually, as well, you know, asking me to um, take things off them and do reviews and stuff like that. And I don't know what I think about that either. I'll, I'll, if it's something that is definitely of of benefit to the channel, then I'll then I'll I will, I will do it. Like I've got I had a, a company asking if I'd um, be interested in a in a head torch. I haven't actually replied to them yet. I need to. And like like I said, they'll give me the head torch as long as I do a review on the channel, and uh, then it's mine to use and stuff like that. I think it's worth doing, but I will never get to the point where I'm advertising something on my channel that is nothing to do with what I do because why the hell do you guys want to see that you know um, it, you just don't so I'm, I'm asked I won't do that um, so yeah that's about it last little shout out for someone as well uh, I'm sure you've all heard of Auto Auction Rebolts and Randy in America he, he popped onto one of my videos the other week uh, bearing in mind this guy you know He's done this for a long time. I watch all his videos. I really like him. He's a very, very genuine guy. Very nice guy. And um, he popped in and put a message down and said how, how he liked the channel and stuff. And that, that means a hell of a lot coming from someone who's got, what, 230,000 subscribers. Um, it means a lot, things like that. It really does. So, Randy, I don't know if you if you watch them all, if, you, if you'll see this, but if you do, if, if you do see it, uh, thanks for thanks for popping by and, and having a look at my videos and stuff and uh, keep doing what you're doing because honestly I really like I really enjoy watching your channel you're a really genuine guy like I said and um, doing what we all love and um, long may it continue so yeah I'm gonna leave it there because I am waffling on as usual but like like I said put all your opinions in the comments but don't forget free car giveaway that's the main point of this video me giving thing, something back to you guys. Free car giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So get yourself subscribed to this channel. 5,400 subscribers, but over the last month we've had 27,000 different people watching videos on my channel. Okay? So you only need another 4,600 of them to press that button that watch my videos anyway. And we're, we're giving a car away, aren't we? We're going to be giving you a car. So. Get yourself subscribed. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to get out of here. Today is the 3rd of the 6th. No. Wow. No one knows what day it is. Never mind the date. It's it's the 3rd of June. <laughs> 3rd of June at 12.15. This video is going straight up now. 
so you're going to see it straight away today. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.